To solve this problem, we're going to um, use the perfect square method of simplifying square roots. And to do this, what we do is we write out all the perfect squares. Well, not all the perfect squares, but 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. Well, we don't even really need 4 squared, but 5 squared, 7 squared at least. Um, that, that's usually enough. You might run into 11 squared at 121. You really should know all the way up through 25 squared, um, but for our purposes, that's enough. And then what we do is we factor 60 into what I'll call perfect squares. So we look at 4 and say, does 4 go into 60? Well, in this case, it does. 4 times 15 does equal 60. And then you go look at that 15 and ask yourself, does 4 or 9 go into 6, 15? No. So no perfect squares go into 15, so you know you're done factoring. And then you separate it using the uh, product of square roots. And you have square root of 4 times square root of 15. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so you end up with 2 square root of 15. Same thing on the other one. We're going to factor into square root, the perfect squares. So we factor one a, first factor 4 out of 108. So you end up with 4 times 27. Now we look at the 27. The 4 is already, we don't want to factor the 4. We don't want to leave it as a perfect square. 27 factors as 9 times 3. The perfect square is 9. 3 is what's left over. We know that 3 is not a perfect square, so we're done. So we can re, um, regroup this as square root of 4 times square root of 9 times square root of 3. And the square root of 4 equals 2. The square root of 9 equals 3. And then you're left with square root of 3. Your last step is always to multiply what's out front. And so that gives you 6 times 3 the square root of 3 and that is your answer that's what equal that is the same as the square root of 108 if you typed them in the calculator they would come out to be exactly the same